Our iPad's finally getting a real desktop OS. Apple have patented a new system that will change the way your iPad works forever. But what does that actually mean? The iPad has long been technically overpowered for the use cases it's generally used for, and its multitasking has been improved, but it's not as good as most people want, even to this day. As soon as Apple Silicon started to use what were basically iPad Pro chips, starting with the Developer Transition Kits A12Z and the M1, which is essentially what would have been expected for an A14X, people have expected a closer connection between iPad OS and Mac OS. We know that the M1 is at least capable of running Apple's Pro apps like Final Cut, Logic, uh, and the like in a Mac, so why not in an iPad? Why can't the iPad just run Mac OS or at least have the kind of overlapping window interface that we're used to having on a Mac? I've long argued that the iPad should be allowed to be what it is rather than trying to make it more like, let's be honest, the far less popular and successful Mac. There are many more iPad users than Mac users and orders of magnitude more iPhone users who will intuitively already know what to do with an iPad. I don't think the iPad should run Mac OS, but giving it the option to have a more similar user interface is certainly not a bad thing. I don't personally think that the iPad is less powerful than the Mac with the same chip inside, but there are limitations. As Max over at Max Tech pointed out, the iPad can't actually format an attached drive, and there are still limitations on what you can do with external files and more. But the latest Apple patents revealed by Patently Apple show that the iPad could offer a more Mac OS style UI when attached to the future equivalent of the smart keyboard and trackpad. Internally, this is being called Apple Mixer, and the UI allows those overlapping windows and smaller touch targets. One of the biggest issues that I've seen with the touchscreen Mac idea all along, although I'd still go for a folding flat like a drawing board iMac that would work with Apple Pencil all day long. Imagine all the artist studios with that bad boy inside. Maybe Microsoft was actually onto something with their Surface Studio. Could have been good if they'd actually had enough interest to keep it around. But back to the iPad. Overlapping windows are great, I guess. Is the iPad more powerful now that the windows can overlap? I don't really think so. But is it what people wanted? Yeah. And I'm being a little bit cynical right now, but this might actually fix that other problem that people have had with the iPad, multi-display support. So if you activate this mode by docking to a keyboard, then at least you have a way of interacting with that other display, as without it on a touchscreen device, the other display is pretty redundant, unless you're using the viewer as a window for video editing, or 3D modelling, or something along those lines. The exciting part here is that this style of interface does make it way more likely that you'd be able to interact properly with something like Final Cut Pro or a similar app. Plus we've seen at least in the last year that Apple has registered Final Cut as a SaaS product or software as a service. That means in layman's terms, subscriptions, I don't know how much you all love that idea. But let me know in the comments, assuming Final Cut stays as a $300 single purchase, how cheap would the subscription option need to be to make you choose that? over buying it outright. At $1 a month it would be 25 years before buying it outright would actually make sense financially, $3 would be 8 years and 4 months, and $5 a month would be 5 years. Bear in mind at least at $5 a month subscription we'd probably see more transitions and plugins added more frequently to keep people on board which might also reduce external plugin costs if you're a regular editor. But also would you prefer an iPad that can do all of this stuff or like a new MacBook Air that's always a Mac? Uh, like what's your choice? Mac? or a more powerful iPad? Let me know in the comments. I am genuinely really interested and I'd love to know what you think about this kind of balance between Macs and iPads. Does the iPad need to basically be a Mac or is it okay that we already have Macs and maybe the Macs could be Macs? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is a shorter one, but I hope it's been informative. Thanks to all the Patreons over here and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>